My name is Mark Walsh from Integration Training. In this video, I'll be sharing some body awareness practices. Body awareness is um, a key skill underlying emotional intelligence, leadership, stress management, a whole bunch of areas. Um, without awareness of the body, it's hard to know how you're feeling, how you're coming across to other people as a leader, uh, whether you're stressed and need a break. So it's a really fundamental skill. In my book on the subject, I develop body awareness uh, to a lot more details. So this is just a short introduction, and I'll put a link to that if you'd like to learn more. With all of these practices, I recommend doing them with a sense of um, persistent, gentle curiosity. So persistent in the sense of your, your mind will drift, that's very human, and be persistently bringing it back to the present moment, to the sensations in your body. Gentle, so we're not making it too harsh on ourselves. Uh, and curious, so really giving that sense of, okay, what's, what's going on? What's, what's, what's really happening there? And that helps to keep us in the present moment, which is critical for all of this. There are longer body scans you can do. Um, 30 minute practices, for example, is a guy called Kabat-Zinn who works in healthcare. Um, this has been shown by the NHS to reduce anxiety, stress, a bunch of other things. Um, this is a short practice you can do, however. We'll, we'll do a sitting body scan and then some, some movement body awareness as well. So the first thing we're gonna do is a body scan. So this is simply bringing the awareness to the body. Um, sit in a relaxed yet yeah, upright position, so not leaning on yourself or leaning on your chair, but self-supported. If you're a beginner, it can be easier with the eyes closed, so you're not distracted by what you can see. However, in many ways, it's, it's more useful with the eyes open, because often in life, we have our eyes open when, we're, when we need these skills. So starting by feeling the feet, noticing your socks or your shoes, what sensations are there, how the weight's distributed, are they hot or cold, are they comfortable or uncomfortable, really being curious. Then move your awareness to your legs. So you start to feel your legs, how your legs are. Again, you might notice your clothes, the sensations. Moving up your legs, around the knees, Bring some awareness to your legs. Noticing your hips, noticing your weight in the chair. A little shuffle can help if that's hard. And then moving up your body. So the core area is really important to body awareness. As, um, it's really the base of a lot of our um, intuition, emotional intelligence. So spend some good amount of time here. And move up your body, your front, and being aware of your back. Often people forget their back when they're rushing around, so some awareness of the back can be useful. So noticing the movement in the body as you breathe. The front, the back and the sides. Noticing your arms. Move your awareness down each arm and to your hands and fingers. Noticing your head, your face how your eyes feel, your ears, and noticing your whole body, noticing if there's any emotions present in your body. And you might like to finish the body scan by just scanning briefly up and down. Uh, sometimes I have the image of a photocopier or a, um, one of those science fiction kind of scanners moving up and down the body, and the light would be the awareness. Yeah. So the body scan alone can actually be enough to build body awareness. It can be done lying down or standing up. I prefer sitting just so I'm alert yet relaxed. Um, it can also be done for a lot longer, as, as I mentioned. That was a brief run through. Other people find that movement really helps them build body awareness. So Tai Chi, yoga, um, even walking the dog, as long as you're paying awareness to your body, then that, could really develop, um, that can really develop body awareness. Again, it's about practice. So what I'm going to take you through is a, a series of gentle movements. Um, again, what's important is, is not so much we're doing it athletically, but that you're paying attention to your body as you do it. Again, being this gentle, persistent curiosity. Of course, if you have any injuries or health conditions, you might want to talk to someone like your doctor before doing these. Um, they are very gentle, however, so if you use your common sense and take care. The movements are all using, are using circular movements gently around each joint. I usually work at the bottom and work my way up. 
Um, as long as you're listening to your body and doing it with your body rather than to your body, then it, it can't go too wrong. So just pay, take care and pay attention to your body. I'll start with the toes. So I bring some awareness to my foot, just gently doing circles on one side, a little wiggle, and then the other. Ankles, again, slowly, carefully, just gently rotating the ankles, feeling into the knees, the lower legs, and the ankles. Little circles, nice and gentle, being careful if you have any knee issues. Go way up to the hips, so feet a little bit wider. And again, making circles. If you have a bad back, be careful. Feeling into the body. And start gentle. If you want to get a bit bigger, that's fine. Noticing what's happening. It might be different today than if you did it yesterday. Now circling more with the chest. Noticing the upper body, shoulders, getting really feeling, really noticing what's happening. Nice and gentle, you can roll the neck into some half moons. The arms. Some big movements with the arms. Being aware of the arms moving. Then the wrists, you can give them a shake and rotate from the wrist. You can also move your whole body. So if you put your feet so they're a T or an L shape, take a step forward, bend one knee then the other, and noticing how your body's moving. Where are you leading from? Is it your hips? Yeah. Is it your heart or your emotional sense? Or is it your head? It's much more common to lead like this in a lot of places, yeah? Noticing what it's like to align those. Be aware of your whole body moving. Noticing what quality, is it smooth or is it jerky, yeah? What kind of quality of movement do you have today? You can do it either side. And also these centers, head, heart, and hara, belly in Japanese. Now we're gonna do a tapping. So with the tapping, you can do an open palm or you can do it with a, a gentle fist with the thumb on top like that. The important thing is that you take care and um, don't hit hard enough so that you can really feel your body. It's like a gentle massage, but, not, but not, not so hard that you're doing yourself any damage, particularly careful of the bony bits, yeah? So you can start on your hand, your hand a little rub and a tap, work up the forearm, both sides. Japanese Doin massage uses this. Very gently in front of the heart. We're not doing CPR, yeah. On the tummy, both shoulders. Noticing the sensations in the body that are awakened by the tapping. Looking down the back. You can usually go a bit harder on the, on the hips and the butt. Down the legs, just gently usually on the inside and back. Careful of the knees, you don't want to hit those. Then on the, the muscle, on the leg, the lower leg. The feet, if you're not wearing any shoes. I usually finish off by tapping the head. There's some um, EFT if you're into tapping and sort of pressure points and shiatsu points. There's some points here, but for now I'd say it's just to tap. You can rub, yawn. <sighs> Notice the face. <sighs> No, it's the whole body. The last exercise we're going to do for body awareness is shaking. This comes from idiokinesis, which is a Western movement and alignment practice. If you give yourself the image that you're full of, um, full of peas or beans or dried lentils of some sort, um, and then that you're shaking those. So this image just helps the tight places become relaxed and the places where there's not so much sensation get a bit more alive. So it brings awareness to the whole body that way. When an area is tense, it's quite hard to feel, so it helps to relax while you do this. So you literally just shake the body, shake up and down. Keep breathing. 
there's one area that you need to shake more than the others, that's fine. You can shake out a wrist or an arm. And again, loosening where stuck and bringing life to where's, uh, where's not a bit numb. Yeah. As gentle or as vigorous as you feel comfortable with. You can put music on and dance around and do that for five, ten minutes. Um, yeah, that's just a very brief introduction. So if you're interested in body awareness training for leadership, for stress management, for emotional intelligence, then please get in touch. It's Mark Walsh from Integration Training, www.integrationtraining.co.uk. Thank you. I'm very aware of my body. I am, my, my posture is nice and upright and uh, I'm aware of all my leaves. It's very important. Very good video, Mark. Well done.